What well, is the time of year when kids in Colorado are headed back to school? Today was the first day of school for Legacy Point Elementary School in Parker. Kids in Aurora went back to school today as well. In some schools, teachers are now using artificial intelligence to help them and their students. Yeah, the Colorado Education Initiative released a new roadmap for how to use AI in the classroom. Gabriella Vidal joins us live now. And Gabby, you spoke with one teacher who says it is already making a big difference. Yes, yeah, so much of a difference, Karen and Michael. And this roadmap was actually created in a conjunction with a steering committee of about 100 different kinds of people, district leaders, teachers, educators, parents, and even students, all leading the way to help kind of decide what solutions we could use in the classroom for how AI should be used and policies in which they should use moving forward. So if students aren't able to use AI, they're going to get left behind. That's what K-12 ed tech specialist Andrew Giltner says about the growing prominence of AI technology in the classroom, that it's not only helping some students achieve more, but making it easier for teachers to focus on teaching. I have talked to so many teachers who swear by certain AI products because they've, they've made the profession sustainable again. In his case, he used an AI program called CoGrader to help write feedback on student essays a lot more quickly. I used it to turn around about 90 essays in two hours, so students had really good, really actionable feedback the next day. The ability to have things translated quickly, the ability to have uh, instruction differentiated to meet the personalized needs of students, that suddenly is so much more possible than it ever was before. The Colorado Education Initiative's Karen Kwanbeck tells CBS Colorado a new roadmap for AI education in K-12 through schools will now help districts across the state tailor how they can effectively and equitably use AI tools. One recommendation in that roadmap is creating professional development time for teachers to learn how to use AI. To become well-versed in what AI literacy and AI fluency will mean for them in the classroom. The other recommendations are developing a district policy that reflects how AI should be used ethically and transparently, and making sure families know how these tools will be used. Most districts will likely be putting out communications to families describing how they're using it, if they're using it, what's okay, what's not okay for kids to do. Kwanbeck says ultimately these recommendations are to ensure AI doesn't replace human interaction in the classroom, but serves as an addition to learning. I might use it to grade, I might use it to create amazing lesson plans aligned to Colorado um, state standards. Another recommendation listed in that roadmap is for districts to create an AI task force in which they include input from students, teachers, faculty about how they can improve the follow-up policies moving forward. Gabriella Vidal covering Call to First.